What is up, y'all? It's your girl, Dr. Nina, and I promised to give you all more of what you wanted and you asked for more TMI skincare. And so you asked for more of how to get rid of hyperpigmentation, scars, dark spots, bug bites, boil marks, all of those things across your body. And you know your girl is all about talking about the embarrassing moments I've had with not only losing over 108 pounds, but keeping it off for years, battling everything from stretch marks to boil marks because of my hydrotinitis superativa. So for those of you all that don't know, it causes scars and dark marks and boils underneath your armpits, between your legs, under your breast. And I vow to make sure that I continue to share those things so that you all can add better things to your regimen to increase the chances that your skin can clear up and be its best. from injury, surgery, burn, or a pimple gone wrong, we all have scars to show. Many of you all write me and ask me how to get rid of old and new scars. And while it's possible to reduce scars with natural remedies and other means, it's important to understand where scars come from. When the second layer of the skin is damaged, the body produces collagen fibers at a quick rate, causing scar tissue to form. That skin doesn't always lay down very neatly, causing that scar tissue to be thicker and more noticeable. Too much collagen creates a raised scar, while too little collagen collagen creates an indented scar. How bad the scar is gonna be is gonna be determined by how much damage has been done to the skin. Typically, the less time it takes to heal, the less collagen is deposited, which means the scar will show less. Scars form differently for different parts of the body. So naturally, if you hurt your knee, it's gonna take longer and it's probably gonna have thicker scar tissue because you're constantly bending it. The older you are, it might be harder for your body to quickly repair itself. In order for you to be successful at getting that thing to heal, you have to make sure you understand the type of scar that you're dealing with. Atrophic scars are loss of tissue. That's gonna be like chicken pox and acne scars. Hypotrophic scars are formed by excess tissue that forms over the skin as it heals. These scars are gonna be darker around or more hyperpigmented around the area that's formed it. Keloid scars, many of us have experience with those. This is where there's just an overproduction of tissue. And unlike the other scars, these grow way beyond where you've been hurt or injured. And these are usually darker than the surrounding skin. Contracture scars come from skin that's lost or damaged. These are gonna be more like burns. And also fitting in would be scars like hyperpigmentation or stretch marks. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the things that have really worked for me in my journey. I've also shared with you guys in some other videos and I've linked those down below. Be sure to check out some of my regimens where I share not only my shower routines, but also some of my special remedies for scars. But these are some things that really come from research of items that work well for getting rid of scars. As I told y'all before, I ain't G. Jesus, I am part in the Red Sea and I am turning water into wine. In order for remedies to really work, you have to be consistent and you have to give it time. So if you start to have difficulties with your scars or they start to get worse, make sure you go and see your doctor. All items I discussed today can be found down below in the information section. And y'all, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment, share, and subscribe. And also click on those notification bells so you can know when I upload on Thursdays and Sundays. Make sure you also check out my Now That's life podcast which is now live and you can check it out on all your major podcasting platforms links to my podcast can be found down below in the information section there's a lot of things that you could be doing daily in order to support the healing of your scars even old ones a lot of it has to do with your bathing and showering routine. Y'all know one thing I do not play about is my showering routine. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about it here because I just want to highlight some things that help me with scarring in particular. If you're interested in my shower care routine videos, check the links down below in the information section. But I love to use my Castile soap because it has antibacterial and antifungal properties, which really helps to cleanse and clean the body without being too harsh. And over the years, you guys have seen me use my Spin for Perfect Skin by Vanity Planet a million times, mainly because it's great for people like me who have sensitive skin and eczema. Also, I'm easy to scar, believe it or not, but this really helps to exfoliate that top layer of skin and it keeps my knees, my elbows, everything really clear. And where I break out sometimes is on my chest. I'm even able to use it there under my arms and other sensitive areas. And what I really like is it helps to really get rid of those acne scars and a lot of that other scarring that comes about just from living life. Look, it's going to make sure you get that dirt and debris and everything off from top to bottom. So if you're really interested in this brush and you guys know I've had the same brush for the past like four or five years, I have not had any problems with 
with it. If you're interested in it, make sure you check the links down below and get 70% off with my code NINA7 now. Another factor that has really kept me from scarring is making sure that the mechanical items I use on my body are also in tip top shape. Y'all know I love and stand by the Hydro Silk Shaver. It is amazing. This one is by Chic. It is cost efficient and it has a moisture band which keeps you from chafing or even scarring yourself while shaving. It also has the nice end on it that helps with the bikini line and I use it with my pure silk shaving cream and have for years and I love it because it makes it easy to go over areas that are hard to shave. It keeps me from nicking and cutting and getting extra unneeded scars, wounds and scabs on my skin. Make sure that you are not shaving over areas that are already scarred. If you have scars or live or active wounds, do not shave over them. And the thing that I like about this is sometimes I've forgotten and this Chic Hydro Silk keeps me from getting nicked up if I do happen to go over an area that's already irritated. I try to keep my shaving down to about twice a week and I also make sure that I'm very clear about not going over the same area more than once or twice because you don't want to run the risk of scarring that area or irritating the skin which can cause further damage. Also keep your utensils clean and dry, even if it's just a loofah that's gonna cut down on bacteria, which could enter your skin and cause scars. And also make sure you're bathing or showering in lukewarm water. Hot water dries out the skin, like aggravating your eczema or even darkening scabs or scars that are already there because they dry out. I promise y'all on everything, one of the key things that has helped me maintain clearer skin is a great wool mix. Yes, I'm back in the kitchen cooking it up, but y'all know I love doing this because I love ingredients and I do believe in ingredients helping to heal the skin and helping to heal wounds and scars. So you just have to be very careful and selective about the things that you choose and why you choose them. In this oil mix, I have things like olive oil, coconut oil, almond oil, eucalyptus, neroli, lemon essential oil, lavender essential oil, as well as rosemary and vitamin E. There are some major keys in this one like the eucalyptus oil, which helps to reduce scar tissue, the neroli, which which helps to regenerate new skin cells, the lemon essential oil, which actually helps to treat acne scars and also helps to improve skin tone. And you have the lavender essential oil, which treats scars and helps to prevent them as well. The rosemary essential oil helps with acne, dermatitis, eczema, treating all of those conditions and even the scarring. And the vitamin E helps to penetrate and moisturize the skin. And if you like a fragrance, you can add that as well. I love oatmeal, milk and honey and also lemongrass. Now, don't worry y'all, you know I got you back so down below in the information section I have all of the measurements for everything that you'll need or about the measurements I usually kind of eyeball this based on what my skin needs but it usually works the same basically every time I make 8 to 16 ounces of this almost every time so I measure it just to make sure I'm fitting in the bottle which I just buy from Amazon but you can check down below for all the ingredients so you won't be lost and you just want to add fragrance to your liking whatever you like however strong strong you like it or however less strong you like it and then I mix it up and make sure you shake it well before you use it every time sometimes these oils will settle in one before the other so it's always good to make sure they're all blended together so that your body gets all the benefits of all of them and then I funnel them into the bottle to make sure I get all that great goodness and close it up and keep it shaked like I said every time you use it shake it up good I definitely use an oil mixture at least once every day especially once I'm out of the shower or when my skin feels a little itchier or drier one thing that I find with this mixture is it's not too heavy it's actually really light it melts right into the skin and also I start to see really gray healing effects of it when I have eczema flares this thing works in a flash and any dark marks scars or wounds don't put it into open scars. Make sure that you let those close before using oil over those. But it's also great for nails and those knuckles to keep them from getting dark. Y'all, my newest butter mix has had me on point as well. The main ingredients here are cocoa butter and shea butter. Cocoa butter is high in fatty acids and it really helps to nourish the skin and improve elasticity and also smooths out scars and wrinkles. While the shea butter is great at making sure it protects your skin and its natural oils. The rest of the ingredients include the almond oil, vitamin E oil, coconut oil, as well as jojoba oil, which is most like the skin's natural oil. When I make my butters, I use a double boiler and I have a link to one down below, but it keeps from burning 
cooking the butter. If you put the butter directly on the stove, it a lot of times burns it. I also like to start off with melting down my cocoa butter because it seems to be a little harder to melt down. And then I follow that with the shea butter right before the cocoa butter is done melting down completely. And then I add a bit of the rest of my oils in the parts that I've put down below in the description box for you. And if you're wanting to know just because of what I like my butters to smell like, I also go with the same type of fragrance that I go with my oils here. So I like for my butters to have that nice, natural, soft, and kind of lemony and oatmeal scent. Though this process does not take super long with a double boiler, you'll still wanna take your time and make sure you're mixing everything in because once this solidifies, it's done. <laughs> you don't mix up the butter anymore unless you melt it back down and mix it up again. So make sure you've taken your time while it's on the stove to allow all the ingredients to melt together. I let it cool for a little while, top it off and put it in the freezer or you can leave it out overnight, but the freezer gets it done faster. And then you have a nice smooth butter. The great thing about it is it again melts right into my skin. Y'all, I even use this on my hair, but all those ingredients really help and have helped me keep my legs pretty clear. Y'all know I have hydrotinitis and you wouldn't even know from the scars that I've had in the past. Some quick little mixes that have worked well for me when I'm experiencing high levels of scar. Whenever I'm having scars or darkening, I like to make sure that I mix and match these items, but I love lavender and olive oil. These are great because they help to soothe the skin and clear up a lot of the scars, especially old ones. And basically you're going to massage the two into the skin for about five minutes and leave that on for about 30 minutes and then rinse it off with a little bit of lukewarm water and repeat this about three times a day until you're starting to see the scars lighten up. One of my absolute favorites is a mixture of coconut oil and tea tree oil. And I love the tea tree oil in particular because it has antifungal and antiviral properties, which help to clear up skin irritations, especially like acne, eczema, things like that. One of the best things too with this one is that all you have to do is put it on the skin for a little while. And I often leave this one because the tea tree oil is cut down by the coconut oil so it's not as strong. So those of you all that have followed me for a while know that apple cider vinegar is my good old faithful and this is no different. I just mix a little bit of apple cider vinegar with honey on a wet cotton pad. So just a little bit of water on the cotton pad and I put that on the area that's a little bit scarred, especially a fresher scar. And then I leave it on for about 10 minutes and rinse it off with lukewarm water. Y'all, your skin is left feeling nourished and also moisturized because of the honey and it feels like it puts on a protective barrier. Witch hazel is also a good old favorite for me and I love this one especially when I have bug bites. It keeps me from scratching them to all hell and causing big scars. So whenever you're having a bug bite or something is itching on you, try witch hazel, leaving it on there completely and usually the itch goes away. Now if you like Nina, I'm not gonna be doing all of that. I ain't mixing and matching and doing none of that up in the kitchen and I'll leave that to you. However, is there some things I can look for in the store that I really should have in my products that I choose to purchase. And to that, I'm going to say, of course, if you're going to choose to buy your items, there are some great key ingredients to look out for. For about three months now, I've been taking my Yay Organics Juice Bites. And I love these, not just because they taste amazing, but in two gummies, I'm getting all my biotin just about for the day. And I'm also getting collagen. And if you know about collagen, it's really great for the skin, skin regeneration and repair, and also helping with those things like scars and wounds. In order to repair your body and your skin specifically, you're going to want to take in a lot of zinc. So a lot of green leafy vegetables, your beans, also your shellfish, and also fresh live fruits and vegetables. These are going to be great for cell regeneration and repair. If you're not for mixing, but want a great oil, vitamin E is really great. And you can even buy it in the capsules and the capsules will keep it a little bit cheaper. Basically, you can take a few capsules, break them open a little bit, and then just take the oil from within. And y'all, it rubs on like butter feels so good vitamin E is just great for the skin it plumps it back out the skin takes it in really well and it loves the nutrient source in it you all have seen me use vitamin C in so many videos but it's so great for boosting collagen and also stopping the melatonin from reproducing
reproducing. When we reproduce melatonin, it makes our dark marks darker. And so you wanna stop a lot of that safely. And vitamin C really helps with that. I use it all over my body. I use it on my legs, my arms, my elbows, my knees, all of that, especially if I get a scrape or a wound or scar. And then I also use it on my face, neck and decollete. So it is a really good source of nutrients that I use all over my body daily. I also try to take vitamin C when I can remember every day. You'll also want any topical treatments like lotions to have antioxidants and alpha hydroxy acids in them. These are gonna really help with cellular turnover and it's gonna help to renew your skin and encourage a lot of healing. So I love Eucerin and I also love the Dr. Teal's lines of lotion. I moisturize and oil my body daily after getting out of the shower and I ensure I'm intentional with rubbing it in completely. If you're not interested in making your own butter, then I love the Now Cocoa Butter and Jojoba Oil mixed together it's awesome first quick way to stop the scorn is stop picking fight the feeling you might be starting that process all over again and causing unneeded blemishes anytime you pick at something you're reopening it which means it's going to have to go through the healing process again on top of what it's already gone through so you might be causing extra scar tissue so as i've said before y'all pickers quit picking for fresh scars, especially those I've aggravated by picking, I love Moderma PM for overnight use and also the Moderma by Day, which has SPF in it. These help to protect the wounds and also keep them from further getting damaged. The next thing is if you do have a wound, keep it protected. I've told you guys before I use wound care and I keep wound care washed around the house, mainly because you wanna keep that area moistened and covered as much as you can. I also keep something like Neosporin around. This one was recommended by my doctor and prescribed by her but this also helps to keep any new scars from getting deeper and darker this way keeps it from drying out when your scars dry out they itch when they itch you scratch them and some of y'all being nasty right now picking off scabs and flicking them across the room make sure you watch yourself because you could be causing your body extra damage so definitely keep that wound care on hand and to prevent wounds and even bug bites i love keeping this cuter or cutter around it has aloe vera and vitamin e it keeps the bugs off and i I also like a more natural version, the Sawyer family, which has a control release if you're gonna be outside for a long time. And you also have to use continued protection. I don't care if you black, brown, green, orange, or yellow, you definitely need sun protection. Melanin skin does love the sun rays and the vitamin D, I will admit. However, our skin can still darken in areas of hyperpigmentation. If you have hyperpigmentation or a scar, it is possible to further damage it with the rays of the sun, especially if you know you're going to be out there for hours especially fair-skinned people as well you're going to experience the same type of damage so don't be fooled you still need some spf protection and it's usually recommended at a level of about 50. y'all i have really been riding with the neutrogena versions of the ultra sheer and clear face these have really been working really well for me. Just bought them from Walmart, nowhere special. I really love how they work and how easy they are to put on. And I have minor scarring on my body, but I've really worked on the old scars. And this is a specific scar on my hand that I've had since I was younger from a lawnmower. And I've noticed since putting SPF on it, it's been really lightening up. Also keep in mind there's laser treatments and other options available such as surgeries to remove scars or scar tissue. So while I know it's easy to say that we want to get rid of scars, also cherish the ones that you have because they tell a story for you. Make sure that any decisions that you make regarding getting rid of scars is your own and that you're taking time to get to know your own body in order to treat it its best. Y'all know I'm gonna support you in loving your body, scars and all. So I hope today has been beneficial for you guys. Make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.